Greetings viewers, Eric the Car Guy, also known as ETCG1 when posting videos to this channel. If it is your birthday, happy birthday, have a cake. Yeah, we do that, so get used to it. Anyway, we're past all that, and today's topic, well, sort of comes up in response to a video I did not that long ago about my vehicle fleet. And in that vehicle fleet, I had two vehicles in particular, a 1993 Acura Vigor and a 1992 Acura Vigor. And one of them is an automatic, and one of them is a five-speed. Well, yeah, really cool. I'm maybe one of maybe two people on the planet right now that owns two Acura Vigors. Lucky me, good thing I know how to work on them and I got some spare parts, I'll just say that. But there are a lot of comments to the effect of, make the automatic into a manual. So I thought I'd do a video about switching automatics to manual transmissions, because this is a topic that's come up several times over the past 10 years that I've been doing, Eric the Car Guy and ETCG1. So I figured I'd just give you my opinion on the subject instead of me typing it out over and over again. And that is, honestly, I think it's a foolish pursuit on modern vehicles. Now, <laughs> now you know what, I'm just gonna keep going with this. Many people seem to be under the impression that switching automatic to manual is just a simple matter of taking the automatic transmission out of one vehicle and putting the manual transmission in, putting clutch pedal in, putting your stick in, and away you go. That's only the beginning of it on modern vehicles. And in the case of the Acura Vigors, you're looking at it going, they both have the same five cylinder engine, they're both the same car, so why can't you just do it? Well, I'll tell you why. Because modern automatic transmissions are electronically shifted, meaning they oftentimes have a separate computer, or in many cases, it is part of the regular computer. Then they have all the wiring going to those solenoids, those sensors, and all those things on said automatic transmission. They also gear it differently. They also sometimes set the engine up differently. They also set the regular uh, engine management computer up differently because the shift points, because when the torque converter engages, all these other things are taken into account. They basically engineer the vehicle to be an automatic transmission vehicle. And if you want to make it a manual transmission vehicle, it's not just all the stuff that I mentioned, the transmission, the shifter, the clutch pedal, all that. It's also the computer. But then again, it's also the wiring harness because the wiring harness is gonna be different between the two. Now, I'm not a guy who's gonna sit here and say it can't be done. I'm a guy who put $20,000 into a 1979 Ford Fairmont, which doesn't really seem like a bright idea to a lot of people. And trust me, I get it. And some of you are gonna come back and say, Eric, you spent $40,000 on that car. And I'm gonna say, go back and watch the video and see what I really said. Anyway, getting back to the topic at hand as far as switching automatics to manuals. Yes, it can be done, but is it worth it? Especially in the case of my Acura Vigors. I have a running five-speed Acura Vigor. I have a running automatic Acura Vigor. There's no reason <laughs> that I can think of other than to make you happy, which to some degree I do owe that to you, to, to go through the process of doing that. Because other than to show you that it's a lot more involved than you think. I mean, it's really easy to sit there and type out, Eric, why don't you just switch the automatic to a manual? You could type that and wish that all you want, but I can tell you right now, that's not gonna happen at least not in the near future. I just had to put that out there. I, I think people are under the misconception that switching automatic to manual is you know, an easy thing. You know, it was easy in the Fairmont because guess what? No computer controls, no nothing. I, you know, aftermarket transmission, aftermarket engine, you know, it was all completely redone. It was designed from the ground up to be that, a manual transmission. Let's face it, manuals are more fun to drive. I get it. I totally get it. That's why I put a manual in the car that I waited 30 years to build. I'm totally with you on this. But as far as the Acura Vigor, I think it is a colossal waste of my time to try to do that. I have other things I want to do. Like that truck, starting on that very soon if I haven't started on it already by the time you see this. But I just wanted to put this out there. I just wanted to answer two of those comments, give some people, well, give myself a link that I could send people that would say, hey, why don't you turn that automatic into a manual transmission? And this way, this is my response to you. So if I've given you this link and you're here, well, now you know my opinions on it. Not that it can't be done, not that it's not gonna be fun, it's just that in some cases you have to ask yourself why. Why do I really wanna do this? A lot of times you're much better off just finding a manual transmission version of the car that you want, rather than trying to take the automatic car you have, which is probably wuss slow to begin with, and put a manual transmission in it thinking it's gonna make it all better. I could go on about rear, dr rear drum to disc conversions, but and I guess what one of the first things I'm doing on that truck is. Automatic to manuals, yes, it can be done. 
Is it worth it? That's the real question. Is it worth it? The time, effort, and expense that you're gonna go through to do it, is it worth it? If it's worth it to you, more power to you. I hope you do it, send me pictures. Also make comments down below, that's what they're for. If you have automotive questions, I ask you head to airatthecarguy.com. That will be linked down in the description along with other additional information, including the video that I mentioned at the beginning of this video, along with other videos for you to watch. Just keep watching my videos, like, comment, and subscribe. Do all those things that help make a living. Really appreciate that. Be safe, have fun, stay dirty. Thank you very much for your time and for watching, and I'll see you next time.